Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined um, by director Damon, Damon Osteen and wonderfully our producer and lead Melissa Jackson um, here and we're stretching from Texas to the East Coast and, and to the West Coast and we've made it happen. Um, thank you for your film on Hung Up and thank you for joining us. Uh, for those that haven't seen Hung Up, let's take a look at a clip. Hey! You don't ride shit unless I say so. Hey! No. I ride for 10 seconds, we forget this whole no, thing. No, you ain't doing this. I like you it, know. Patty. No. I do. But I don't want word to spread that the great Patty dude broke her back for good at my place. It's not gonna happen. But if something does, it'll be part of your legacy. I, I'm really excited to talk about you because I was excited about your film. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. It's about a woman bull rider who um, is at the top of her game and she has a career ending injury and she has to ride 10 seconds to, uh, to you know, reclaim her glory in a sense. So we cram all that into a very short film. I, I, before we get to Melissa and your, and your, and your fantastic roles, I just want to, I'm so curious, uh, Dan, where the inspiration come for you in creating this project? I had an idea of just a simple idea of like a woman bull rider who gets injured. And that was about it. And then I met Melissa and Nick Hill a couple of years ago on the festival circuit. And we just wanted to collaborate. We would talk through it over phone calls and then we'd meet up at film festivals and revisit it. And it just started to shape um, with their input. We're like, come on, David. <laughs> yeah, let's make a movie. Come on. <laughs> the best thing that we could have done was we were at a film festival in April and Nick Hill's like, we just need to set a date. And when you set yourself a date like that, it gets the train out, leaving the you know the the place, and you're just like, all right, we're we're rushing off to a goal, and it actually made us all like get together and re pull our resources and make it happen. So, you know, it's kind of how we yeah. do the production. Oh, we see a lot of short film, but it was like the perfect short film, like you know, in every category from story to location to the way it was shot to the feeling to the music to everything to the Obviously, uh, Melissa's great performance. Melissa, listen, I, you're a brilliant, brilliant actor. Like I was just captivated by the, your story. I could feel so much from your energy and what you were going for and feeling. Um, obviously, you led the way with this film. You've met Damon. Um, how was the experience for you and obviously producing it? And, and how was that process for you? I think it was an incredible opportunity to play this character. You know, when Damon first spoke about it, I was like, Damon, I have to play this character. I was like, this is amazing. And then it was like, okay, Damon and the kill said, oh, we're going to make this in six weeks. I was like, okay, guys, I wasn't in on this plan, but all right, let's, you know, let's activate it. And, um, there was a girl named Duke Largo Wimberly that was a stunt coordinator and she was really involved and she was really vulnerable in telling me a lot of what their world was like so I could soak it in. And then the stunt, um, excuse me, the stunt writer who wrote for me, he was also able to tell me a lot of things really quickly. We didn't have re a lot of rehearsal. Like Damon said, we had a lot of phone conversations and a lot of, you know, what is this, da 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 da, da because obviously Damon was based in Texas at the time and I was in New York and we had, you know, kind of teams, you know, everywhere. But that being able to have that open dialogue before, but really it kind of came, it was kind of like an adrenaline packed, like how much can I learn and kind of absorb? I could kind of prepare my character, but I kind of made my baby on set between Damon and Duke and Adam. And it was like, okay, Damon's direction. Okay, got that drink. Okay, I have a little Duke drink, a little Adam drink. And then, you know, through that pro, through that, I call it the drink uh, of, you know, hung up, that really, I say, my character was born, you know, with, through, through that because I, you know, I am originally from Detroit. So, yeah, you know, we don't have cowboys and things like that in Detroit. So it really was, I kind of just really had to absorb and, and just let, and let that be and, and follow um, Damon's direction and then we just had a really great team all around us you know across the board from you know cinematographer to you know art department to editing to you know coloring we just we really got really lucky so and to, to piggyback off that like 
when we were talking, you know, over dis long distance, and then when we all got together and Duke was in town, um, and just kind of you were kind of like a sponge off of like the way Duke would walk and talk, yes, yes. and then it was really cool because I, I know Melissa as you see her now, but then when she came out in all full outfit wardrobe as as Patty, it was really cool to to see you yeah. know behind the camera. I had trouble actually like thinking is is that is that Melissa is that is that actually her because you know you, you you your whole aura is 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 so different. Of course you're an actress, but you know I'm just saying it just it just was amazing to watch and um listen this film was just but the way you shot it was just oh my it was like gorgeous like it was just this beautiful location that you had um which I want to find out more about Damon um and and the way that it was shot and the way you you shot you know. Uh, the whole film was just captivating. I mean, the the the, the, the bull, you know bull riding scenes was just mesmerizing, like uh, brilliant to watch. Tell us a bit more about that. Um, well, you know, anytime you're working with stunts and bulls, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we literally, and on top of that, we also had the American Humane Society there to make sure we were treating the bulls respectfully. Yep. And in Texas, cowboys are used to treat bulls differently than. The movie world you know so we couldn't use electric prods we can only ride them one time so literally every bull ride we had uh we literally had one shot at you know um so we just had multiple cameras all over the place and we'd just get as much coverage as we could um to, to splash the other and fortunately every ride came out great i mean all of us were on pins and needles we're watching adam ride from you know playing duke or you know playing patty and it was it was stressful you know but when it, it, it's over and you look at the footage you're like oh we got it you know and it was, it was really exciting but like i said still stressful wouldn't you say melissa like oh yeah all... it was what was really stressful it was like you know we had never i had never been to a real rodeo and i think damon oh. was at the practice pen we were at and yeah. this guy gets up and he climbs up the, the fence where you see me climb up and he starts praying and not just saying a prayer. I mean, it was like praying that somebody was going to die. And I was like, oh my God, this is a producing nightmare. I was like looking at Damon. He's got the three cameras set up. I'm seeing the ambulance, the paramedics, the American Humane Society, the vet that we had to get at the last minute. And I'm like, oh yeah, didn't think about this. And then like, they don't, the, the, you know, and it's also like, Damon can't just direct the bull. Like, okay, Mr. Bull, you're gonna do yeah. this right now. And okay, you're gonna like go spin a little to the right. And okay, then I'm gonna need you to spin a little to the left. And Adam, don't fall off the bull, by the way. Because by <laughs> the way, the bull gets so angry in the shoot. He kept, he was sitting down, but he was making these like wild, like beastly noises. It was like, no. and we're like, oh my God. And they're like, there went Adam. And there went the bull. And we're like, oh my gosh and so it was like okay and the, and the lady says oh the bull is getting too angry so it was like one shot so it's like if that ride didn't happen or if adam flung off and just you know kicked the bucket then there went the movie yeah. so goodness it really it didn't happen <laughs> but it didn't, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it did it totally didn't happen we did lose the we did lose our rider what damon like a week or so before originally duke had somebody they had overdosed yeah. and, um, and they were also going to bring a couple more bulls down so we could ride more oh. black bulls but then that right. guy couldn't make it either so we literally had like one bull per ride to, to oh, ride oh right you're totally right about that yeah that was that was crazy it didn't end up being my neighbor in new york city's cousin Best thing. Rode the bull. we're well, like yeah. Best thing. wow wow and and he thinks this this was... is everything. i thought it's like your... oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was like your 50th rodeo or something that you were doing. It really felt, you felt very comfortable, you know, as Patty there is, it was, it was amazing. Like really, really, really. I know, honestly, Damon, you had me on the edge of my seat. Like, you know, especially when you mixed it with, um, you know, um, Patty's like back injury. And I was just like, broke out into a cold sweat because, you know, this was a serious injury and these do obviously happen um, as well. So it was, it was, it was absolutely captivating. You Thank know, you. For, you, for you, for you, um, you know, Damon, like, what made you want to like this story you know like I, I got so much I mean I, I'm British and I'm still learning I've been to Texas a few times so and I, I I was learning so much and it was such a great world that you took us into like what did you kind of want your audience to take from it I, kind of like that where like I remember when I first moved back to Texas I went I took my family to the rodeo in Fort Worth and we had a blast and then for my 
40th birthday, I actually had friends from Georgia and LA come out and we took them to the stockyards and the rodeo. And it's just a world that no one really knows. And it's really cool. It's cinematic. There's a lot of characters. Um, I just wanted to capture that on screen, you know? And so um, just fortunate to have met Duke. And I went and watched her and her friends practice. And at that same intensity of watching them ride. And one time when I was watching them, one of them got their hand hung up in the, you know, in the saddle. And there was all the rodeo clowns and all the help running out to pull her hand out and you know dude's sitting next to me screaming you know like get her hand and it's just like I'm just filming on the sidelines and I was like you know edge of my seat watching this happen and play out so I just wanted to cap take that what I experienced and capture it on film for an audience and as I say Melissa led the line very very well but you also had a great um ensemble cast um you know some very wonderful uh you know recognizable uh faces in there and that we've seen in many different things how do you bring about bringing the rest of your cast together we uh well Damon Nikhil and our casting director we had all talked about I mean we obviously like had a list that we wanted so it was a real short-term availability because we only had six weeks um, so it was like, okay, who can make, and not only that, who can make it down to Lubbock, Texas, because it wasn't a direct flight. So it was, so that was a little bit challenging. Um, we, we had met Kevin at a film festival a few years prior. So he was kind of in our, in our sphere of, um, of world, you know, both Catherine and Kevin are New York actors. Um, Catherine's on a board um, in New York City, a radio drama network that we're pretty involved with. And, you know, they're old, like old school, like playwright, you know, New York good actors that you can like rely on. It's like that Damon could trust them to be like, here, here's this. And like, you know, Damon just like threw everything at Catherine like the first day. And she was just like, trying to, you know, she was just mimicking Duke and okay, Damon do what? Like she just, she was in it, you know? And she wanted to do it because she's like, my son is gonna finally think I'm cool, you know? But, <laughs> and you know, the thing of it is, is like ultimately like getting people that have recognition like Catherine and Kevin, you know, it's like when you have a good story, you know, like Damon had, you know, people are going to jump on board, whether it's a 15 minute short or if it's a feature or whatever, because the characters are so juicy. It was like Catherine and Kevin's characters are so juicy. Like, why wouldn't they want to sink their teeth into that? Because it's showing them in a different way. You know, mm -hmm. that Damon created something that it was allowing them to expose themselves in a different way. So mm -hmm. I think that's, I mean, that's what they told me afterwards. They're like, cause they don't, they didn't need to do a short for what, $125 yeah. a day. You know, they don't need mm -hmm. to come to Lubbock, Texas. I mean, what game it was a hundred degrees or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so, really like, yeah. so they didn't, they didn't have to do it, but they wanted to do it, but we didn't really know them. And it was just like, well, here's the script. Can you come down for two days? And I think they saw the team and what the story was. And they said, you know, and they, and they love it. It's it's like being on an exciting roller coaster. Not that I like roller coasters myself, because you did you, you took me on one. Um, but and again, it's it's interesting, Demi, like knowing your background and, and what you've been involved with in you know in, in Los Angeles and your career thus far. Is like how is this looking so slick and so perfect? And I was like, oh, okay, I can see he's done many many uh, yeah projects, commercials, and music videos. I was like, it just it just looked very slick to me. Um, you know, I it's always exciting to see a film, particularly a short film, when you just have these incredible challenges and you just challenge yourself to this incredible film that is just that we've never seen before and i'm just curious from both of your perspectives kind of what have you learned about from this project the most um that maybe something that you've taught that maybe you've not had in other projects before uh working with bulls <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> doing stunts like that and the stress that it brings but um no, i think this first time i mean they always say like when you make movies don't work with kids and animals but you know um <laughs> We decided to have both. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I think just learning about how, you know, when you do work with stunts and uh, big animals like a bull and the American, having the American Humane Society there was, was a very something I'd never experienced and was very, um, I, I'm grateful to have experienced before you get on to bigger things and bigger projects to have had that experience was, I thought, very, um, very you know, was good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How about for you from Melissa? Yeah, I agree with Damon. I mean, that was definitely an element. I mean, and SAG did tell us like some of the things that we were going to be expecting. 
self-esteem, you know, um, with that. But, you know, then suddenly when we got down there, like, oh, no, you need another ambulance and you need the vet. And so it was like all these extra, you know, all of these extra things and, you know, having that. And then also just having the the worry that not only was it, like Damon said, we were working with animals, we're working with a wild animal. And, you yeah. know, it wasn't just a dog or a cat or a horse, even this was a wild animal. We also are dealing with a professional bull rider that at any time, it's not, will you get hurt? It's when you get hurt and how badly will you get hurt? Uh -huh. So Adam had just gotten back off of injury, I think six weeks prior. So we were his first ride back before he was about to go on the circuit again. So if he got injured and I was like the stress of like, God, am I gonna like, are we gonna like ruin this whole guy's, like that's how he makes money is, is we gonna ruin his next cycle of the year because he's gonna crash. So, you know, that was really stressful. And then, you know, going through an editing process, we had to edit from afar and then editing again, that wild animal and being able to splice something you know, characters of, of real and, you know, make, trying to make that look as real as possible. Like I rode the robo bowl and the, I, not the other, what is it? The funny, the other funny bowl. And then Damon, yeah. people, like, I don't know, we did. So it was like how to intersplice all that thing. You know, that was a real, um, you know, post-production challenge is like how to, to keep that authenticity and that it doesn't look like, oh, well, she was just like on the fake bowl and the real bowl. And I, and I think through, you know, um, Harry um, at the editor, um, he's in Los Angeles. They did a really amazing job of like seamlessly taking that ride because I think Damon, did they shoot that ride like in slow motion or something like that? And they were, I have no idea. Yeah. I am not an editor. Um, yeah. And we had a really amazing sound guy that was able to kind of go in and really, he did an incredible job and he just kind of really finessed a lot of that sound. So it was, I think it was like a, it was like more like the post editing was definitely a challenge. And just like that whole, it was a wild animal. Like you can't train or you can't as a director say, okay, you have to go this way. It was like rolling, rolling the dice. Your editing was amazing. Like it, it really influenced to how we were feeling in those, you know, intricate moments. And it, it was powerful. Like your editing was so good. And I think that, you know, I always like to give hands. I'm glad you mentioned the editor because they are the unsung yeah. heroes how we feel right in in movies and such um I, I, the only thing i can say that i was disappointed is i wanted more i was like please can we have more of this world like is there any developments there because your character melissa patty was just like i wanted to see her more of her life like or, or was this just a short and sweet uh, short for us i don't know where the world is happening with we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens we'll we'll finish the festival virtual festival run yes. and uh, and see and see where the world takes us fantastic well i'm i'm glad that you know it's, it's always lovely to see when you know I, I can tell your energy both of you have just such great collaborators and i'm glad you found each other to make this film um it's you know it's exciting um but i'm just curious uh, what is next for you both um, I work in marketing for a hospital right now. And so in, in, that's my day job, which is good. I can, I shoot commercials and stuff, but um, you know, just, I've got several projects that, you know, you got irons in the fire and you're just waiting for one of them to strike and COVID's thrown everything out of whack. Things were, you know, moving forward on one and now it's backtracked to later next year, but you know, it's, it's a, you just keep pushing forward, being creative, writing, you know, and just do what you can um, and hoping that, one of these projects takes off, you know? So um, just kind of, you know, like everyone else in the business, if you're not in the top making Disney plus stuff, everyone else, I think it'd be just create ways to write shorts and write and get your friends together and do stuff safely. I think that's the best thing to do. And that's kind of what I'm doing out here in Texas at the moment. Oh, wonderful, Dan. Thank you. Well, we all wish we were in your part of the world, enjoying that lovely landscape you get to see. Um, how about for you, Melissa? Um, uh, you know, it, it's crazy with COVID. It's, um, it, it, it's been busier than it's ever been in a very strange way. And I actually, um, have been hired as a writer for the first time for a TV show. Uh, my partner and Nikhil, he also was one of the producers on that. So we are, um, we're doing that right now actively, which that's that pilots do before the end of the year. So that's really keeping us busy and yeah, there's a couple of other breaking news things, but I'm sealed to uh, confidentiality agreements right now, but you guys will sure to 
hear about it at one point. And uh, yeah, it's cool to work another work another angle because I've never been hired as a writer. So amazing! Uh, very, yeah. oh, very exciting. Very exciting. Um, I, I, you know, you you both such a lovely people to speak with. Um, I, I, you know, we have a filmmaking audience here. And um, I'd love to know uh, maybe any advice that you go by or that you share um, that you maybe you could share with our, our, our filmmaking audience um, if you'd like. Yeah, I would say if you have a good story, not an experience, a good story, go and do it. You know, go get your friends together, figure out a way to do it. Don't talk about it for endless time because it's not going to be your masterpiece. You got to, you know, you got to like, like we did like with Damon and the kill, we just said, okay, let's put a goal out there, put a date out there and let's do it. And you got to keep doing it. It's kind of like, you got to get on that bike. You got to take the training wheels off. You got to go Ian, you got to get on the bike again. And it's probably not going to be your masterpiece again, but you got to get out there and, and start doing, you can't talk. You got to do, yep. you can be in school, but you got to like, even like my acting teacher was like, no, you can't be in class anymore. You got to go out and do because there's things on set you're never going to learn in class. Like you got to go and have, you have to go out and do like go and be a PA on set, learn what those different jobs are and be like, oh, this is what I want to do. This is not what I want to do or, you know, but do something. Don't sit back. I love it. And that's nice, Melissa, because everyone else will like, write that sit now. If they've seen this interview, they're going to go off and they're going to go and do it. So that, that's really sound advice. Um, how about for you, Dave? Anything to add? I'm, I mean, that's what I was going to say, too, is like so many people will talk about doing something and planning it and they need more money. But like we didn't have a lot of money and I, we ask favors and people will be willing to help somebody if they see that passion in you, you know, and so. I think just going out and doing it, get your friends. It doesn't have to be big. Just tell those stories. And I think Melissa's right. Just also work in the business, get to know people. The best thing I did when I was in film school was I was an intern for Randall Wallace, who wrote Braveheart. And to this day, he's still a, a mentor to me and someone I can lean on. And that, that's 20 years, you know, and that's just something I think you don't get unless you actually go and you work in the business. And again, I was an intern, you know, I was making copies and picking up run errands and it was a, a very fruitful thing to do and i think just working in business and making stuff it's the best thing you can do amazing thank you both thank you for hung up it was it was a, a joyful experience to watch and, and and thank you for going to the efforts to make such a great film and melissa again you were such a great actor and it was a mesmerizing to, to performance um so thank you both bros. keep making more movies for us and and keep us up to date of all the greatness of your work but thank you both it's brilliant thank you, thank, thank you for supporting thank us you. Cool. thank you yeah. thank you thank you danny thank, thank you, you. Danny. bye guys bye bye bye, bye.